uh, we will discuss how to improve your credit history. Ano nga po ba yung credit history? Well, for those of you who are not here in Canada yet, probably you don't know what a uh, credit history is because we're not used, especially as Filipinos, we're not used of using our credit cards. We always do our transactions by cash. So credit history in Canada is very important, especially if we are planning to buy a house or a car in the future once we are already settled here. Of course, um, that's going to be one of our dreams, right? To have our own house or a car, those big purchases. Well, before we can do that, you know, here in Canada, they always want to make sure that you have a good credit history because if you're going to purchase a house um, they want to make sure that you will be able to pay for those uh, mortgages like monthly mortgages and also the uh, car loan so it is important uh, first thing that they will do is to check your credit score so here in Canada uh, they have um, like a scoring so credit scores range from 300 to 900 with the following rankings so from 800 to 900 it would be considered as an excellent credit score 720 to 799 it's a very good credit score well um from 800 to 799 or 720 well, definitely, it's going to be a good score for you. And it's not going to be hard for you to ask a bank <laughs> to trust you if uh, you're applying for a loan, for a car loan, or for a mortgage, right? So, uh, they're going to be, like, confident to give what you are asking from them because they know that you'll be able to pay for it. And then, uh, 650 to 719 would be good and 600 to 649 it's fair and the bad would be 300 up to 599 so that would be uh, considered as a poor credit score so how are we be able to um, get our credit score uh, secured or I mean to get a good credit score I have five tips here that would uh, help you to improve your credit score. The first thing we could do is just to get a secured credit card. So it means that it's secured. It's something like a prepaid credit card. Like uh, you're gonna get or you're gonna put a like, um, deposit for that card. But then, uh, like for example, uh, you get a 2,000, you want a 2,000 credit limit for that card. So you will put a deposit of 2,000, but you won't be able to use that deposit for paying uh, the balances that you'll be using for the card. Like for example, uh, you use the card and purchase uh, 300. So uh, by uh, the time or before the due date, of course, you still have to pay that 300. Um, it's just that just uh, to let the bank know that you're good when it comes to paying that 2000 would be just a deposit so it's just a giving them a security that whatever happens whether you're gonna pay your balances or not at least you know they have the money to to uh, replenish your balances to that credit card so that's only for uh, those who are newcomers because, of course, um, you know, it's hard for us to get uh, or apply for a credit card at first, like a red regular credit card. But based on my experience when I got here, and that was um, 13 years ago, <laughs> uh, I had a chance to apply. I just tried, and then uh, they gave me a very small credit limit. But still, you know, I did it. And um, also one uh, tip, guys, if, for example, somebody or, you know, like if at least you're getting there and you're earning your credit history and some banks ask you to apply for a credit card that has an annual fee, um, I don't think that you have to grab it right away. 
because it's up to you because there's a lot of credit cards that you can apply for without the annual fee so you know just uh apply for a regular one even though it's a small uh, credit limit just use use it and um as the time goes by um once they uh so that you're a good payer then um they will ask you or offer you a big credit limit so that's the first thing the second one is of course you should always pay your bill on time it's either um like for based on my experience uh um you can uh, just buy something using your credit card and then pay it right away so it's uh, also like a cash transaction but then it's just that you're using a credit card for for you to of course build your credit history right but then don't forget to to pay it right away it's either like um you know once it's been reflected on your credit card and pay it or you can set a uh, alarm on your calendar so for you to remember oh i have to pay this one so you know so that you you're not gonna forget about it and then number three uh keep your balance low so um like for example some people they are very happy because some banks are offering them a big credit limit like for example um they're offering them ten thousand and you were like oh you're offering me ten thousand and there you're gonna <laughs> You're gonna shop everywhere and maximize that 10,000 credit limit. That would not be a good history to your credit because um, there's a tendency that uh, you won't be able to pay for it. Think about it. So be careful of using your credit limit. Only 30% of your credit limit should be used um, on your credit card as a balance monthly as much as possible once they offer you a big big credit limit then you should accept it so that like for example if they offer you fifteen thousand, so at least you have a bigger room for for that credit card to do to, to spend with you know what i mean like at least you know that uh, 30 percent of fifteen thousand would be allowed for you to to spend and so that uh it won't be like over overused so that's another thing and number four is keep old credit card alive so what does it mean like for example like you've been here in canada for quite a while already like myself sometimes you didn't notice that you've been applying a credit card because sometimes they have a good uh, promotions like if you're gonna apply they're really gonna encourage you to apply for a credit card uh, some other stores so they will say okay we're gonna give you a credit of $50 if you apply this credit card if you buy. and then um, until you notice oh I'm getting a lot of credit cards now but then if you know that in yourself you know that you have a discipline or um, you know that you don't have any balance for that old credit card but you're not using it anymore just leave it open so that at least it's still in your record that um, oh you've been um, applied or you applied for a credit card for quite a while already but then you still manage to not maximize the credit limit that's what they're gonna think at least you know how to manage your credit and last one would be vary your credit right it's not only credit cards that you could build your credit score so of course like for example if you've been here in canada for quite a while and you got a lot of different credit cards sometimes you can also like um, applying for a car loan or a mortgage like uh, do some big purchases as long as you know that you will be able to to pay for it or it is good for your budget but uh, don't dare to you know do some big purchases just for uh, getting a bigger credit score and what if you won't be able to pay for it then your credit score will suffer too right guys so 
uh, we have to be careful uh, when it comes to spending or applying for a loan because especially uh, big purchases because it comes with a big responsibility too so uh, guys those are the only five tips that i could give you maybe you will be able to get something from this or you'll benefit or at least you get a small idea especially uh, to those people or filipinos who are planning to come here in canada or um, already here in canada but just new in canada and again uh, just to um, sum, sum it up um, the five tips are the first get a secured credit card and second pay your bill on time third keep a low balance fourth keep all credit cards um, um, alive don't close it and then number five vary your credits so those are the five special i guess or important things that you have to remember guys when it comes to um, getting a credit history here in canada and if you have any other informations or uh, you know you want to add informations just uh, put your comment in the comment box and if you think that uh, you learned something from this video please don't forget to like <laughs> And uh, subscribe, share nyo na rin po, uh, especially to those uh, Filipinos who've been watching this. And uh, thank you for watching and see you on my next vlog. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. God bless.